Hi again guys. Welcome. Şimdi chat'a bağlanıp hemen geliyorum. Şu ana kadar katılmamış olanlar için tekrar her yayının başında söylüyorum. Buradan chat'ten yazdıklarınızı, sorularınızı ya da cevaplarınızı görebiliyorum. O yüzden chat'e katılmaya çalışın arkadaşlar. By the way, my name is Tuba. For those who don't know my name. One second. Isn't it started? Yes, it started. Şimdi bugün şuradaki kullanmayacaklarımızı kapatayım. Yes, it started. Okay, kendi sesini de duydum. So, we will keep going on this book. Geçen hafta da buradan başlamıştık, Salı günü. Bugün yine bu kitaptan devam edeceğiz. Onun dışında ara ara ben kendi sunumumu açacağım. Neleri öğrenmiştik, guys? Let me check the chat. Hello, guys. I can see your messages. And here are the occupations. For example, teacher, pupil, occupations. Bunlara birazcık giriş yapmıştık. Onun dışında bu kelimelerimiz vardı. This, these, your, my bunlardan bahsetmiştik. Onları birazcık tekrar etmenizi istiyorum. Çünkü unutabilirsiniz, çok karıştırıyorsunuz. Özellikle this, these ikilisini. Ve tanışma cümlelerimiz vardı. This is how you introduce yourself. This is Miss Smith. This is my dad. Nice to meet you. Ve ben de memnun oldum derken nice to meet you too demeyi öğrenmiştik. Onun dışında bir kere daha şunun üzerinden geçebilirim. Devam etmeden önce. This ve these vardı. Bu ikilinin bir farkı vardı. Bununla ilgili birkaç egzersiz yapmıştık. Neden these are, neden this is diyorduk. Hatırlayan var mı? Cevaplayabilecek olan var mı? Yazabilirsiniz cevabınızı. Yok mu? Okay, if so, let me explain it for you. This means we use this for singular things. You know singular and plurals? For example, this is singular because there is one pen. There is just a pen, so it's singular. But if there were two pens, these are plural now. So, these, but this. That's the difference. Ve ikisi de yakın. Yani bize yakın olanlar için this ve these'i kullanacaktık. Ama uzaksa, bu kalemi uzağa koydum. Ve şu kalem diye ondan bahsedeceksem. That pen, but. If it's plural and far from me, it should be those pens. That's the difference. Onun dışında buradaki kelimelere siz çalışırsınız. Hala ezberinizde değilse. Let's repeat the occupations before we get started. Repeat after me. Teacher. Papil. What is papil? Papil means a student at a young age. Okay? Student or papil. This means this student is at a young age. So it's this is a pupil. Teacher, pupil, housewife, fireman, pilot. Ve burada bir diyaloğumuz vardı. Bunu okumuştuk geçen hafta. And this is a fireman, for example. But uh, she says... 
uh, no, he isn't a fireman. He is a hero. He is putting out the fire. Ve neyden bahsetmiştik? She is, he is ve bunları nasıl kısaltabiliriz? Bu şekilde apostrof ile kısaltabiliriz. She is, he is. She is, he is. They are same. Bunların kısa hallerini kullanabilirsiniz. Ve birazcık da vücudun bölümlerinden bahsetmiştik. O yüzden bununla ilgili de bir tekrar yapalım bence. Guys, please repeat after me. Head. Eye. Ear. Mouth. Nose. Arm. Hand. Belly. Heart, leg, foot. These are feet. So this is foot, but these are feet. Irregular plural. Do you remember? Leg and legs. Eye, eyes. These are eyes. This says his head. These are his ears. But he has just one nose. So he has a nose. It's singular, but ears are plural. Because he has two ears and two eyes. So plural but singular. So we should say... This says the nose, but these are the eyes. This says the arm, these are his arms. Okay? And what about these? Bunlara ne diyorduk? Can anyone answer? What are these, guys? Can you tell me? You can write it on the chat. Please write your answers. These are fingers. Okay. Hand, foot, ear, mouth, eyes, nose, arm, body, head. Ve birazcık da mesleklerden bahsedelim. Guys, these are police officers. We can say, this is a policeman and this is a policewoman. So, they are police officers. And the police officer catches the thief. He is the thief and this is the police officer. So, he is catching him. He is catching the thief now. And who are they? They are firefighters. Repeat after me. Firefighters. And she is putting the fire out. Yangını söndürüyor. So she is a firefighter. This is the nurse and this is the doctor. And they are talking to each other now. Doctor, nurse. Where do they work? Nerede çalışırlar? Where does a doctor work? Or where a nurse work? Can you tell me? Where do they work? They work at a hospital. And 
this is a farmer. He works in farms. He is farming. And look, we have a housewife and a houseman here. This is a houseman. It means he does housework. For example, ironing. This is a housework. Or cleaning is a housework. So, a housewife or a houseman do housework. O zaman bunları yapalım arkadaşlar. Bla bla a pilot. His or she is. Hangisi hangisiydi? These are the subject pronouns. And we use he for males. For example, if it's a boy, if it's a man, we will use he as a subject pronoun. But if we are talking about a woman or a girl, we should use this one for girls. She. For example, she is a housewife. But... Here we have a man, so let me get my pen, so he is, sorry, so he is a pilot, yes guys, thank you for your answers, please join the chat. What about that one? Here is a fireman and this is the clue. It means it's a man. Az önce burada firefighters diye biz bundan e, cinsiyetsiz bahsettik aslında. These are firefighters but this is the same meaning fireman. So yes again. He is a fireman. Ve şunu unutmayın, mesleklerden bahsederken hep en kullanacağız kural olarak. I am a teacher. She is a pupil. He is a houseman. Like that. En. A housewife. A pilot. I'm a student. Okay? Use en with the occupations. Papil, girl or boy? Looks like a girl, so which one's better? He or she? What do you think? Yes. E, buradan Özlem olarak yazıyor kullanıcı ismi ama thank you Özlem. If you have another name, please correct me. She is a pupil. Right. Say an answer demiş. Peki. Hangisi hangisiydi? He is a firefighter. What about the second one? What's this? Can you write it? For example, uh, is she a housewife? Is she a pilot? No, she is a pupil. Like this. She is a pupil. Ya da buradaki gibi yapabiliriz. Ben size hangi meslek olduğunu söyleyeyim ve siz bana number'ı söyleyin. For example, she is a teacher. Which one? Number six. She is a housewife, but it's written, sorry, number three. 
He is a pilot. Which one is the pilot? Is it a pilot? Or is it a pilot? Yes, I think number five. Good, guys. Number five is a pilot. He is a pilot. What about number six? What does she do? What's her occupation? What's her job? Come on. She is a Yes, she is a teacher. Well done. Guys, please hold on one second. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. I was checking something. Okay. And then repeat after me again. Doctor. Please repeat. Policeman. Farmer. Postman. Zookeeper. She works at a zoo. Let's check if we have any exercise on workbook. Aslında burada geçen haftaya minik bir dönüş yapalım. Şöyle school stuff'tan bahsetmiştik. How many ve how much'tan da biraz bahsetmiştik. Neydi bunlar arkadaşlar? Why do we use how many? How many boys? How many girls? What does it mean? This means we have a countable thing. We use it with countable nouns. For example, boy. This is countable. Or girl. One girl, two girls. Like that. These are countable things. So, we use how many with countable things. How many boys? Ve burada şu önemliydi. How many'den sonra e, getirdiğimiz isim. Kaç çocuk? E, kaç kapı? Kaç pencere? Derken how many ile birlikte hep çoğul bir isim kullanıyorduk arkadaşlar. Oops, sorry. Let me clean it. Okay. Like this. How many doors? How many door değil de bir S eşliğinde bunu çoğul yaparak kullanıyorduk. Yes, it means kaç tane. Süper. How many boys, how many girls? So, let's answer these. Tick or cross? This is a tick. This is a cross. So, if it's right, we will put a tick. If it's wrong, we will cross it. Okay? Number two. How many girls? Look at the picture. How many girls are there? How many girls are there? It says there are three girls. Is it right or wrong? True or false? Or tick or cross? Which one? Is it true? Yes, it should be cross. Because it's wrong. Look. There are just two girls, not three. Okay? Great. How many windows? Let's count them. These are the windows, so can you count them? How many are they? Yes, 
Yes. This is also false. So, it says eight windows, but look, there aren't eight windows. There are just four windows. One, two, three, four. There are four windows, not eight. There aren't eight windows. Good. How many doors? And it says one door. Tick or cross? One door. And which one is the door? I think this is the door. So, how many doors are there? What's your answer? Up. What did I do? Buraya nasıl geldim? Niye böyle yaptım ben bunu? Sorry guys. Baktık. Ve one door. So it's true. So we put a tick. Because there is one door in the class. And what about these? What are these? Bunları biliyor musunuz? İsimleri neydi? Artık bunlar hakkında pratik yaptık. This is the door. These are the windows. We have four windows. One door. Two girls. Two boys. But what about these? For example, what is this? Who can explain me? Who can tell me the name of this object? These are school stuff. School things. So what is this? Guys, what is this? Come on, quickly. Yes, good. It's a book. This is a book or it's a book. Mm. What about this? Yani ben bunu bir silgi gibi görüyorum. Silgi olduğunu farz edersek. What's this? Quickly. Yes, this is a rubber. With double B. First, first answer, first comment is the right one, the correct one. So it should be rubber with double B. R-U-B-B-E-R. -B -B -E okay. Yes, we can call it eraser as well. Both are correct. Rubber or eraser. Yes. What is this? Can you tell me what is this? Guys, where are you? Yes, but I want you to make a long sentence. Please make a sentence. Don't say just back. I want you to say this is or it is a bag. Like that, okay? School bag, yes, it's correct as well. Şunu demek istedim. Yes, yes, you are right, but you can... Make a sentence. Don't say just bag. What is this bag? No. You can say it is a bag. Like this, okay? What about that one? What is this? 
Sizce ne demek? Come on guys. Dup dup dup dup. Yes, it's a ruler. Correct. Bu ikisini bazen karıştırabiliyorsunuz. This is a rubber, but this is a ruler, guys. They are different. Be careful. Ruler, but rubber. With B, but with L. Ruler. Book. I think it's a pencil or... Yes, it's a pencil. A bag. It's a pen or is it a marker? I think it's a pen. Like that. Yani uzun bir cümle kurmanızı istiyorum cevap verirken. Uzundan kastım. İşte ben how many dediysem there are şu kadar. Uh, there are three pens. There are two boys gibi. Tam bir cümle kursanız daha güzel. Bir de bugün size bir şey göstermek istiyorum. Aslında geçen derslerde de yanımdaydı e, ama unuttum göstermeyi. Bazen nasıl kelime ezberleyebilir diye soruyorsunuz. Ben karantinada şöyle bir şey yaptım kendime. Kelimelerim var burada. Ben bunu İspanyolca için yapmak gelmiş. Sigi means rubber or eraser. Both are correct. Rubber. So, böyle bir şey hazırlayın. Bir tarafına Türkçesini, bir tarafına İngilizcesini yazın. Ee, yeni öğrendiğiniz kelimeleri bu şekilde çalışabilirsiniz. Ve aldım ama devam. The small letter. Capital letter, small letter. For example, capital letter, small letter. This is N. This is O. This is P. Okay. Mum. How can we spell it? Let's spell it. M U M. M U M. So this is the spelling. I'm spelling the word now. Let's spell these. N U R S E. Şimdi mesela şöyle bir egzersiz yapalım sizinle. Ee, geçen derste de birazcık harfler ve harflerin telaffuzlarına çalışmıştık. Raptit. Şöyle bir şey isteyeceğim. Mesela ben size bir spelling yapacağım. Yani heceleme. Buradaki gibi M, U, M. Ve siz bana kelimeyi bulacaksınız. Now I'm spelling it. For example... F A R M E R What's that word? I'm repeating it. F A R M E R Please guess what's this? Yes, good. It's farmer. Let's do another one. S T O P. What is this? S T O P. S T O P, but O P, not A P. Yes, exactly. This was stop, S-T-O-P. Um, guess that one, T-I-G-E-R. T-I-G-E-R. It's an animal. What's that one? Yes, it's tiger. What else? Let me choose a long one, a long word. 
For example, H O U S E W I F E. What is this? I know it's long, but H O U S E W I F E. Good, great, housewife. Great, guys. Thank you. Süpersiniz. Orange pen dedik. Bakalım. Burada bir listening'imiz varmış ama e, şu an ben buradan listening'leri açamıyorum. This is my mom. M. M. Mom. This is my nurse. N. N. Nurse. This is my orange. O. O. Orange. This is my pen. P. P. Pen. Bakalım. Read and circle the sounds M, N, O, P at the start of the words. Ne diyor arkadaşlar? Read and circle. Oku ve yuvarlak içine al. Şöyle yapacağız. Neyleri yuvarlak içine alacağız? The sounds M, N, O, P at the start of the words. Yani kelimelerin başındaki. Hepsini demiyor. At the start of them. Okay. M. Bakalım. M. So we should circle it. Yes. It starts with I. So we won't circle it. What about that one? Should we circle it? Or no? I think yes. Because we need... N, N, nurse, S. Do we need this one? Shall I circle it or no? I think no. This is G, A, O. So let's circle this as well. O, A, A. P. Yes, I need it. P. S C E T 